हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्लियर ह्यू इफ यू आर न्यू हियर नमस्ते माय नेम इज डॉक्टर रक्षिता एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट स्किन केयर वेलनेस एंड मेकअप सो इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब गाइस इन टुडेज वीडियो इफ यू हियर माय वॉइस यू नो बी अ लिटिल यू नो लाइक हार्श और क्रैक जस्ट नो दैट आई हैव अ सोर थ्रोट टुडे सो माय वॉइस माइट नॉट साउंड लाइक नॉर्मल एंड दैट्स द ओनली इशू so guys today's video is going to be about the new launches of sunscreens from dermaco i was very excited to see these launches the indian market in respect to sunscreens is expanding i mean now it's like every time i blink there's a new sunscreen out in the market and i'm actually here for it i'm so excited by it so without any further ado let's get straight into the video and let me tell you my opinion on all new dermaco sunscreens Okay guys so here are all the three sunscreens from them uh, all these three are from the hyaluronic acid range i haven't tried their matte mineral one uh, but these were the ones that really you know like intrigued me so i tried all three and i am going to uh, you know review all three for you today okay guys so the first sunscreen is this one it's their 1% hyaluronic sunscreen aqua gel uh, it's spf 50 and pa of 4 pluses now an spf factor of a sunscreen represents how much uvb protection it's going to give you how much it's going to protect you from burning and tanning and its pa rating basically represents how much uva protection it's going to give you So for your sunscreen to work you should have an SPF of 30 at least and a PA of 3 pluses so this one is a PA of 4 pluses and an SPF of 50 now i do have a complete detailed review of this one in another video uh, it's about dermaco only i'm going to link it down below i've run out of this one so i can't really you know show you a swatch right now but i have an entire swatch and you know like wearing it on my face in the other video so if you want to see that you can just click on it and see But in this video, let's just discuss what sun filters this has. Well, the Derma Co One uh, Percent Sunscreen Aqua Gel has uh, titanium dioxide, which is basically a mineral sun filter, and it is a broad spectrum sun filter, which means it's going to give you protection against UVA and UVB rays. The next one is Uvinyl MC80, which is a UVB filter. Now, guys, keep in mind that a lot of sun filters have different chemical names and different inky names. So, uh, since their chemical names are generally very very long i'm going to be using their inky names but i will mention in my description box all the common sunscreens their chemical names and their inky names so if you have any confusion you could just refer to that you know um yes so back to it the next filter here is a zinc oxide which is again another mineral sun filter again a broad spectrum which gives you both uva and uvb protection then the last filter in here is avobenzone which is basically a uva filter which means it's going to protect you against uva rays okay so a quick review on this one though like i said i have a much more detailed review in the another video but in this one let me just tell you this has a very light gel lotion mix consistency i mean it's like a hybrid of gel lotion so it's that consistency it's very lightweight on your skin there's absolutely zero white cast with it none at all and this is just such lightweight nice moisturizing sunscreen uh, i am an extremely oily skin type person like within 15 minutes of me washing my face there's going to be extreme amount of oil already and this one did suit me pretty well it didn't make my face greasy it didn't make my face more oily so even if you're an oilier skin type person you would love this and if you're a drier skin type person you would love this too for extremely oily skin type people you could skip a moisturizer in the morning and just follow up with this one it is going to be moisturizing as well as protective for you for dry skin type people you would need a moisturizer underneath this so from my end this is a very solid recommendation uh, to all skin types this would suit everyone and this is a genuinely beautiful sunscreen that like i said i 10 on 10 recommend all right guys so the next sunscreen from them is their 1% hyaluronic acid sunscreen serum now this was very very interesting i think as of right now i've only tried two serum sunscreens once from 
from uh, Dermaco and the other one is from Sunscoop. I did review it in another video. I have two uh, videos completely on sunscreen which is basically my top favorite sunscreens I had a lot of them so that's why it's in two parts I link both the videos in case you want some really strong recommendation of sunscreens so the sunscreen one was in this now I'm gonna tell you my review in this and how comparable it is to the sunscreen sunscreen all right so talking about the sun filters in here unlike the other one this has no mineral filter in it this is a completely organic or chemical based sunscreen so the filters in here are uvinyl mc80 which like i said is a uvb filter then there is avobenzone which is a uva filter and then there is benzophenone 3 which is basically a broad spectrum uva and uvb sun filter now guys with this one i am going to insert like a texture shot of me using it on my face and then you'll be able to see how how it actually looks Talking about my review on this one, this sunscreen leaves zero white, white cast like you must have seen in you know the snapshot of me using it or you will see if I <laughs> insert it after, after this. So the thing is with this sunscreen this is very very moisturizing. So this is not really a sunscreen made for oilier skin types. If you are an oily skin type person like me, you would find this, you know, a little more greasy. Not greasy exactly, but very moisturizing. This would make you look like a greased turkey or like a shiny glazed donut. And I had to wear, you know, like a mattifying powder over it. I had to, you know, literally set my face with a powder after I uh, wore this sunscreen. It goes on very smooth. Like I said, it has zero white cast. But in my opinion, this would be a much better suited sunscreen sunscreen for drier skin types because like I said it is very very moisturizing and you would genuinely enjoy this also it gives like a very nice glow for oily skin type people it does you know turn into like a greasier look but for drier skin type people this would give you like a very nice you know like shiny glow that everybody wants these days so for that purpose this is a pretty good sunscreen very effective very nice and like I said, uh, you know, from my end, this would be a recommendation to drier skin type people. I suggest oilier skin type to, you know, like avoid this one. By the way, in comparison to the Sunscoop one, these two have very, very similar consistency. They both work pretty similar. I I guess they have like slightly different uh, you know filters I don't really remember what filters that one had but like I said I reviewed it so you'd know but the thing is uh, yeah so like I said they are pretty similar very moisturizing this one's a bit more moisturizing than that one so that one was a little more lightweight even though even that one wasn't the best fit for oily skin type but the reason I liked it so much was because that one would be a banger to use in the winter months for even skin types like mine but like I said this one is a little more moisturizing so again still a better fit for dry skin types as compared to oily ones so if you're an oily skin type and you want to try a sunscreen during the winters i would suggest you go in with the sunscoop one if you're a dry skin type this would be a hit for you all year round now guys i will be talking about my absolute favorite sunscreen from all three which is the one percent hyaluronic tinted sunscreen gel now this particular sunscreen is so beautiful so beautiful and i'll tell you why by the way this is a complete mineral sunscreen this has absolutely you know no organic or chemical filters so if you're someone with a sunscreen allergy this one would actually suit you i mean there's a more chance of this suiting you since people who have sunscreen allergies can usually use mineral sunscreens without any problem so i suggest you give this one a try this has zinc oxide as its main sun filter zinc oxide is a mineral sun filter like i said it is broad spectrum and which basically means it gives uva and uvb protection this also has titanium dioxide in here which again broad spectrum gives both uva and uvb protection and is a mineral sun filter now this sunscreen is an spf of 60 with pa of 4 pluses again excellent spf rating and excellent pa rating now the thing with this sunscreen is for me as an oilier skin type person this was a bang on hit this is a more matte texture but not the kind of matte that i have ever used before 
even the requill one that people love so much the blue requill one i'll include a picture of which one i'm talking i love that one it was in one of my favorite you know sunscreens but this one's even lighter than that this has the same moussey velvety matte texture to it but it's still somehow lighter feeling than that one or any other matte sunscreens and the an even bigger thing is that one's still like a chemical sun sunscreen but this one's a complete mineral one and i have never used a complete mineral sunscreen with a texture as solid and as bang on as this one i've used a lot of mattifying mineral sunscreens but they're generally still heavier feeling on my skin but this one's not this one's just so silky so velvety just settles on your skin in the nicest way doesn't feel heavy at all and the tint doesn't you know like obviously since it has a tint it's not going to leave any white cast but i've heard like about a lot of tint this is the only tinted sunscreen i've ever tried by the way so uh, i don't have like first hand experience with other tinted sunscreens but from the reviews that i've seen of other tinted sunscreens uh, most people say that they kind of change their skin's color or they act like a heavy foundation like finish or something like that like along the same lines but this one it just seamlessly disappears on your skin like even the tint it's just there so it doesn't leave a white cast apart from that it's not going to give you a foundation like finish or even any correcting finish it's not even like a tinted moisturizer it's just gonna be invisible i will include a snapshot of me using this like i said now the reason why i love this one so much is because as an oily skin type person the oils in my skin starts to you know show through very soon and i generally have to apply setting powder on top to make my skin appear more mattified and like you know not so greasy but with this particular sunscreen i did not have to apply any kind of other mattifying product like a powder or like a blurring primer underneath or over it this kept my skin looking matte and not greasy and shine free all day and that was such a big thing i mean like my skin looked perfect till the end of the day and all because of this <laughs> i mean i've become like an ardent fan of this sunscreen by the way the whole video was not sponsored nothing about this was sponsored i've purchased each one of these sunscreens with my own money they were not even gifted to me so you know my uh, you know review is completely honest my review is going to be completely honest even if this was sponsored let's be real but just for your you know Uh, your reassurance i'm telling you i purchased this with my own money this is not sponsored it's just my love for this sunscreen this is the best mineral sunscreen i have tried my entire life and i stand by it this is so good i 10 on 10 recommend it to every single oily skin person out there this is simply the best um to for dry skin type people if you're into mattifying finish of a sunscreen this would work for you as well this is not drying at all but like i said if you want more moisturizing options you have more for dry skin type people just use like a great moisturizer like a very nice moisturizing moisturizer underneath this and then wear it and even you're going to have like a seamless finish on your skin all day also since it's a silicone based sunscreen this acts like a pore filling primer as well another point to make your you know face looks more like you know what is it called like face tuned so just amazing i'm a big fan of this and by now you must have gotten that i 10 on 10 recommend this if there's one sunscreen of the entire but bunch that you should buy is this one By the way I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video but I do have a discount code with Dermaco it's rakshita20 so if you use this on their website you get a, you get a 20% discount I would try and mention this you know in the beginning of the video so you don't miss it I would also you know write it down in the description bar but yes I do have a discount code and I hope that helps you 
with this guys we've reached the end of today's video i really hope you found this video helpful and if you have any more suggestions of different sunscreens i could try please let me know let me know if you've used any of these three and what are your views about it i would love to know if your views match me or differ from me always makes me learn something so uh, like this video don't forget to subscribe and definitely share this video to your friends who are looking for like a nice sunscreen you know helps me please 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 subscribe that helps me the most uh, i hope you like today's video i'm gonna see you in the next one till then bye bye